Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma on Friday held a meeting with members from the Kasi Authors Society and Archik Literature Society at the Meghalaya State Secretariat. The Chief Minister informed that the purpose of the meeting is to discuss the strategy to pursue with the Government of India for the inclusion of Kasi and Garo languages in the aid schedule and to discuss the steps that can be taken by the state government to widely promote the languages in the state, especially among the youth. State President of the National People's Party, One Way Roy Karluki, on Friday made it clear that none of the party legislators will be jumping ship before the 2023 Assembly elections and the party is all set to go all out in the upcoming polls. Taking a jibe at Leader of Opposition, Mukul Sangma, Karluki lauded the former Chief Minister's honesty for admitting that some of the MLAs of All India Trinamool Congress are leaving the Mamta Banerjee-led party. Moving on. The one-man commission of inquiry on Friday submitted its report into the alleged gunning down of the former Hinyotrep National Liberation Council leader Cherish Tafil Thankyu on August 13. The report was handed over to the Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma by the chairperson of the Meghalaya Human Rights Commission, Justice T. Vaifei, who is heading the commission. Speaking to reporters, Justice Vaifei refused to reveal the findings of the commission and said that is top confidential. He, however, informed that it took six months' time to complete the report after conducting 20 hearings. In yet another case of bribe, Assam Police Vigilance and Anti-Corruption Sleuths on Friday apprehended an executive engineer irrigation of Dutnoi East Division, Golpara, and a head assistant for taking a bribe of Rs 50,000 for flood damage renovation. Meanwhile, the havoc created by landslides and floods due to heavy downpours is likely to continue further as Regional Meteorological Centre has predicted more rainfall over the next five days. With floods wrecking havoc in northeast and crucial road and rail links getting snapped, Tripura government is mulling to transport essential goods via Bangladesh. Tripura is staring at a possible shortage of food and other essentials due to disruption in rail and road connectivity through Assam owing to floods. The Tripura government is considering transport of food essentials and fuel via the Chittagong seaport in Bangladesh. The Tripura government is also in touch with the Union Civil Aviation Ministry to increase flights along the Agartala Delhi, Agartala Guwahati and Agartala Kolkata routes. Union Home Minister Amit Shah will inaugurate a slew of development projects during his two-day visit to Arunachal Pradesh from Saturday. He will lay the foundation of a 51-feet statue of Sage Parshuram at Wakro in Lohit district besides launching around 40 projects. Officials said on Friday, Shah's visit to Arunachal Pradesh is part of the mega cross-country tour during which he will be attending several public, political and official events. The death toll due to landslides in Arunachal Pradesh rose to eight after the body of a woman who went missing was recovered on Friday. Capital Superintendent of Police SP Jimmy Chiram said that the body of a 35-year-old Kusum Rai was retrieved from the debris in the backside of Punjabi Dhaba in the city after six days of an extensive search operation. Indrani Mukherjee, accused of murdering her daughter Sheena Bora, walked out of the Baikula jail after over six years after the Supreme Court granted bail on Wednesday. The Supreme Court decided the bail amount to be Rs 2 lakhs and said that Indrani must furnish the amount within two weeks. Indrani Mukherjee is the key accused in the murder case of Sheena Bora, her daughter from a previous marriage. Sheena was allegedly kidnapped and strangled to death in 2012 before her body was left in a pit on the outskirts of Mumbai. Thank you for listening to her podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela.